So we're going to do a little bit more on steady state error because Valerie brings up a very good question. What about a system, for example, that has the plant of 1 over s minus 2? And this is a unstable system. So this is s minus 2, right? So the pole is in the positive uh, right half plane, so it's positive 2. And what happens, what about the steady state error there? What does that mean or what does that, how can we understand it? So, well, let's just apply the same approach that we did before and see what we get as an output. So now we're going to change our system to s minus 2 here. And we're just going to go through the same process we did. So let's plug in these values. This is 1. This is s minus 1. 1 over s minus 2. Sorry. Speaking is hard. And if we take the reverse Laplace of this, oops, Laplace, negative 1 we will get y ref minus y equals y dot minus 2y. Okay, and if we add that to that side, we'll get y ref equals y dot. And then we've added one, so it's a minus y here. If we look at the steady state of this equation, and that's simply where y dot is equal to 0, then we will get y ref is equal to 0 minus y, and this is the steady state value so that we're trying to find. So that means that our y steady state is equal to negative y ref. Right? And if we calculate the error from that, right, the error is y ref minus, and this is steady state, minus y steady state, then our steady state error would be simply y ref minus a negative, so plus y ref. So our steady state error would be 2y ref. So we can calculate the steady state values, and we've calculated them here. Uh, so what does that mean in our system? Well, let's take a second to look at that in MATLAB. Here we are back in MATLAB and we are applying our new plant transfer function here. So we've set our uh, denominator coefficients to 1 and negative 2. So we can check here that it's the same equation as we just looked at. And we just calculated the steady state error. So we'll see what happens when we run this. We go ahead and run it. Okay. And we double check here and Remember, here's our output, our y ref. We're going to auto scale this. And we see that, well, our system does not have a steady state error. It actually goes into infinity, uh, negative infinity on the error, and positive infinity on the y output. And when we think about this, this makes sense because our system is actually unstable, right? So we have our output, our error, and our output going to infinity. So let's go back to the board and talk about this a little bit more. We just saw in MATLAB that with our system, we had an unstable system. Our overall control loop actually is also unstable. And so I had our system go off into infinity when we put in a step function here. And so the question is, what do these steady state values mean? Because we calculated them. This is essentially if you happen to start at exactly, your output is exactly negative y ref, and it stays at that point, so from the beginning it's this value, then your error would be exactly this value, and your system would stay at that point. So in a sense it is an equilibrium point, but the moment that you move a little bit from that, say there's some noise or something, your system is unstable and it will go move away from that point. So these are, in a sense, a steady state equilibrium point, but in pretty much any real system, you're not going to stay at this point for very long. For example, if you've ever tried to like balance uh, something that's hard to balance straight vertically, if you get exactly the right point, so if you put it on a table and you try to balance it, if you happen to get the exact right point, it would stay there. But in real life, there's vibrations or things that will move that object, and so it will not stay at that point. It will become unstable and fall over. So that's 
this would be that exact point if you're able to stay there that would be the steady state value uh, but in real life your system will not stay there so because that point is unstable the system is unstable it will move away from that point so it's important not to just calculate these things but to understand the system and understand when you will have when you will be able to stabilize to these points and when you would not stabilize to them so that's how we calculate steady state error. Just make sure you understand what it means. And to do that, you have to look at the system itself and the closed loop system and how it reacts.